And another popular scam is making a resurgence after the holidays, and it could hit your cell phone if it hasn't already. And how you react next will determine if you join the millions who have been ripped off. And this morning, John Shumway has some words of warning. John. Yeah, it's back for the Valentine's shopping season, and we're accustomed to getting texts that look just like this, and the bad guys know that we're accustomed to seeing them. In fact, they're preying on your inclination to get on with it and just click on that link. Uh, 415 million spam text messages just like this hit U.S. phones every day. You're expecting that package you ordered, and here comes the text from the Postal Service saying it's being held up at the warehouse. Don't click the USPS text you just got. It's a scam. The Postal Service so concerned about this, they put out a warning video. I mean, didn't you wonder how they know your cell phone number? They don't, and they don't send text messages about unclaimed packages. I'm Andrea Avery, United States Postal Inspector. Inspector Avery goes on to explain it's all part of an international phishing scheme after your money. One of the many, all wanting you just to click the link. They're asked to provide payment information for a slight re-delivery fee, sometimes even just 30 cents. However, then they end up receiving fraudulent transactions for more than 30 cents. Caitlin Driscoll with the Better Business Bureau. If a link is provided, don't click directly from that link. If you are concerned you really do have a package out there suspended in delivery space. To verify the information independently directly with the shipping carrier or who you've made that purchase from in the first place. But again, whatever you do. Don't click the USPS text you just got. It's a scam. Now, Driscoll says hang on to your tracking numbers, track all packages you send or you're expecting to receive. And interestingly, Gen Z and millennials are most likely to be victimized by phishing. Interesting. So do the scammers really get that much out of this, though, John? You certainly wouldn't think so, because 65% of us delete a text like this from an unknown number. Yet, in the most recent year tally, 2022, 68 million Americans were victimized to the tune of $326 million. And delivery text topped the list of this kind of scam. Wow. Yeah, I have definitely gotten that text sure. before, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and looked at it and fortunately did not click on it. Yeah. Delete. But it's yeah. easy to make that mistake. Absolutely. John, right. thanks. Thanks, John.